Hey yo fellow Autobots, Decepticons, Trans fans, Legonians, and Brick fans. This is Dave Frost reporting in once again with part three of the one week of destruction. And this time it is about Long Haul, who is the dump truck construction vehicle of the Constructicons. So, right off the bat, you can obviously see that he is huge. He's still Voyager scale, Voyager class scale. Just, he looks bigger. Because he is bigger, and we'll, we will see why he is this big in vehicle form compared to the other Constructicons when we get to combination mode. But anyhow. So right off the bat you see a lot of detail. Including the Decepticon logo. And he's not just light green and black. He also has silver and purple. Like the other Constructicons. And he, since he is the dump truck, dump truck, he is meant to carry the weaponry and the, the weaponry pla plus accessories. Because they're, the weaponry doubles as the accessories for the combination form of Devastator. So let's get on with some comparisons. And you'll see how big he is. So here's Scrapper. Right off the bat you can tell that he is a lot bigger than Scrapper. Higher, wider, longer. He's just the biggest Constructicon of the Devastator Constructicon team. And here's Mixmaster. Sure, Mixmaster may be higher because of his cement drum, but still, Long Haul beats him in every way. Now let's bring in a character that is also a dump truck. Here is the Lux Class Scale Heavy Load. Who is an Autobot? And you can obviously see not only that he's that long haul is just bigger, but that he has different detail. That's because his robot mode, vehicle mode, combination mode, his molding is made to be different. Because it was he was made in a different way than heavy load was made. But there are comparisons, like how you can see, here are, here is Heavy Load's left hand, and here is Long Haul's right hand, and you'll understand how it's different that way when we get the transformation. And there's some obvious detailing all over both characters. So now let's get on to robot mode. So you'll want to come down here and before getting to the arms you want to disconnect and separate this entire section. That is the bed of the dump truck and the front, you know, it's the front all the way to the top. And you'll want to leave that sitting there however you desire. 
and then bring out the arms. This tab right here This tab right here is going to go into into this hole that is right at the tip of my finger. I'm just trying to get good lighting on it, but believe me, it's there. So you want to do that for both arms. Then you want to take the waist and turn it 180 degrees. Then turn the lower legs and fold down the feet. And then rearrange the arms so it makes clearance for the front of the vehicle to come down since it's also the chest and then you just you have it like this you have the bed of the dump truck like like this so you want to fold that down and it's the backpack then there's a small tab right there push on that and then you can bring up the head. And there... Is Long Haul. And that is the complete image of his head. I have to tilt him forward for the camera to be able... For the head to show on camera. Now looking at Long Haul... He has more coloring. You see a lot more silver and some red, including his head. And uh, again, that is how big he is. So now I have with me the other Constructicons and other Transformers to compare size. So there's Scrapper and then there's Mechsmaster. Obviously overhaul long haul Towers over Mixmaster and Scrapper. But they are still all Voyager scale. Then we have Onslaught, who is who we already know is already a Voyager scale. And Little Shock Shockwave, who is a Legion class, and then Heavy Load. And who is Deluxe class. So that's all I have for size comparison this time. Well, not really all I have a lot. I have a lot other, but... It's all who I decided to bring in for comparison. 
And, uh... So it's quite interesting doing size comparisons for these things. So now let's remove everyone. And we can move on to articulation. So, his head cannot look up, but can look that far down. And then, he, his head can rotate 360 degrees, but because... Of the, this stuff behind his head that is higher than the platform that his head is on. He cannot go all the way around. His head cannot. And again, it's like Scrapper where we do not have elbows for long haul. There's not even hand or elbow rotation. It's all just in the shoulder. There is, just like for transformation and combination mode, there's, there is rotation down at the waist. Now it's going to get a bit loud for this next part. The hips are on rotation. I mean, a uh, ratchet joints every direction. And then there is knee rotation as well as knee bendage. I mean, so much that it, what's on the knee is like a second foot, if you will. And then there's no ankle tilt this time due to transformation. Um... But that's how far forward the legs can go. And then with these these things for combination mode being in the way, I really would not bother rotating the hip back. But of course you can rotate it out of the way. And then go that far for the leg. Um, and that's really all there is for articulation. So now let's go into combination mode. So what you want to do is put the head down. Rotate the arms up and 
you'll notice that there's a tab right here that goes into the slot below the hinge because that's how the arms look and where they go for combination mode and then take the waist rotate it back as if you were going into vehicle mode and then fold the feet back in and then fold out the knee pads Do the same for the other side. So this is... I believe you do leave the arms up. Like that. But this is what... Um, long haul looks like in combination mode. So much that I cannot leave him or else he's going to fall over. Like, watch. Move the hands and he falls back. Um, so that's pretty much it for this review. And we'll go into all of White Goes Where uh, when putting the Constructicons together for combination mode to form Devastator on Saturday. And like I said, you won't see Devastator until then in the final review. Yeah I'm, yeah, I'm pretty positive you do leave the arms up. Like this. When doing combination mode. Because. I think these tabs have purpose in combination mode. We'll figure that out. Coming Saturday. And I'm pretty sure you can guess what long haul is in, as a part of being Devastator. Leave your guess in the comments if you feel like it. To whoever watches this video. And that will just about do it. So I thank you all for watching. Have a great rest of your day, and please stick around for more great LEGO and Transformer content coming to the future of this channel. I will see you all next time, including tomorrow when we continue with One Week of Destruction Part 4, Hook. So, see you guys later.